We haven't had a holding tank odor problem in our RV for a long time. A number of years ago we did, and we installed 360 siphons in place of the original factory roof fence, and that solved it. But recently, the tank odor problem came back. And bad. Here's what happened, and how we fixed it. After leaving a boondocking spot we'd been in for about two weeks, we started getting some gray tank odor while we were driving down the highway. When we looked for the source, it seemed to be coming from around the kitchen, and when we opened the cabinet doors underneath the kitchen sink, we got hit with a strong smell of gray water. How could that be? Why would there be a gray tank smell under the sink? RV plumbing works by using these little devices, called air admittance valves, at each sink. They're really simple and are designed to act as a one-way valve. They smooth the flow of water down the drain by allowing air into the system and also make sure that water doesn't get siphoned out of the P-traps as the sink finishes draining. Just like in a sticks and bricks house, the water in the P-trap is needed to block odors from the sewer system from coming into your RV. The air admittance valve at our kitchen sink had obviously failed. Since this is the original 14-year-old unit, it's likely that time had simply aged it and made it stiffen up, preventing it from sealing properly. Our quick fix to keep gray tank smell out of the RV for the rest of our trip was to use a small Ziploc bag and a rubber band to seal off the failed valve. So maybe you're wondering why this would happen when our roof vents normally create enough negative pressure in the system to keep odors from finding their way into our living space. Here's how the system works. When water drains from your sink, it pushes air ahead of it, which escapes through the vent on your roof. But that air needs to be replaced, so the air admittance valve opens to allow some in, keeping the pressure balanced and the water flowing smoothly. Also, when you dump your gray tank, a large volume of water suddenly rushes out of the system and needs to be replaced with air. Most of that air comes through the vent pipes that go to the roof, but the admittance valves can also open and allow more air in. This also makes sure that water doesn't get suctioned out of the P-trap, which I already mentioned is important for making sure that odors stay down in the gray tank where they belong. So what happened to us? When most people think about holding tank odor, the black tank is usually the first one that comes to mind. But gray water can smell just as bad, if not worse. Especially after a long period of dry camping, where you've been conserving water, that means the ratio of food particles, soap, and body oils to water in the tank is much higher. And if you've spent any time boondocking, you know the smell of that concentrated gray water can be really bad. Since we'd been dry camping for two full weeks and our gray tank was reading full, we think it had filled high enough that the water was now blocking the tank vent pipes. The air admittance valve had probably been bad for some time, but now that our roof vents were blocked from doing their job, the air had nowhere to go but out through the faulty valve. Luckily, this is a really easy fix. Air admittance valves are simply screwed into place at the top of the pipe. We didn't even need any tools to remove it or to install the replacement. Since it wasn't much more expensive to upgrade, we decided to install a higher quality valve. We'll put a link for it down below in the video description if you're interested in getting some of them for your own RV. There should be one of these valves at each sink. Hope this helps you keep your RV smelling fresh. Safe travels, and thanks for watching.